Good morning students. Today we are going to study and implement the program to implement stack using array. So we mentioned the name of the program in the comment. C program to implement stack using array. It's a manually driven program where we are going to perform three basic operations of the stack that is push, pop and display. Fourth option into this program is exit from the program. So we want the user to perform the operations a number of times. For this we will use the infinite loop and to break the infinite loop we are going to use the exit function available into standard library so C. Initially we declare all the header files required in into the program hash include standard library functions stdio.h hash include comio.h hash include standard library functions stdlib.h then to define the size of the array we use has defined max as 5 then we declare a structure for the stack the stack stack we need an array to hold the elements of the stack so a of max in a of max and then we need one pointer top which actually fetches up and down whenever the elements come into the stack or goes out of the stack. Here we close the structure of the stack and this is a structure variable to access the elements of the structure that is E that is array and the top pointer. After declaring the structure we declare all the functions related to the operations on the stack that is push void push int x semicolon void pop void display this is just a declaration of the functions or operations that we are going to perform on the stack we are going to define all these functions later into the program now we will see what is push function push function is similar to the insertion operation inserting an element into the stack is called push operation that's why we need an one element from the user so here we are taken on parameter integer x then the second operation is pop it is nothing but deletion of an element from the stack and as we know that the element which is inserted last will be removed first in the pop operation always the element topmost element is picked and is deleted from the stack third operation is display the display operation of the stack displays all the elements of the stack in the reverse order of their insertion. After declaring all the functions operations of the stack, we will start our main program by writing void main. Opening parenthesis here we will declare the variables required into the program that is a number we need from the user so array is the number. CH is the choice that we are going to take from the user that is the operation that we are going to perform on the stack. Then we use the clear screen function to clear the screen. After that, initially the stack is empty. To inform the compiler that the stack is empty, we write as dot top equals to minus one. This indicates that the stack is empty initially. Initializing as dot top equals to minus one, we need to display a menu card to the user. By using printf statement, we are going to display a menu card to the user having all the operations that we are going to perform on the stack. That is one is for push, second is for pop, third operation is Display and the last operation, fourth operation is exit. 
After resetting the menu card, we'll start our infinite loop where after entering into the infinite loop while one is one is always true. After entering into this loop, we'll first ask the user what you want to perform. The choice from the user. Enter your choice. After getting the choice by using scanf statement. Store the choice into the CH variable. After getting the choice, immediately we will use the switch case statement to switch to that particular choice. So, in case 1, we are actually going to perform push operation. So, here we will call <coughs> push function. Before calling push function, we need to pass the parameter. So we will take one variable from the user, a number that is to be pushed. Enter number to be pushed. store the number into n variable and immediately we will call the push function here by passing the parameter n to the push function then to exit from this case we will use break statement in case 2 we are going to call pop function to delete the element from this type break to exit from case 2 then we have case 3 here we are going to call display function to break to exit from this case 3 again we use break statement case 4 is here we are going to call exit function to stop the program then we have default option Here it will print a message to the user that the choice that you have entered is invalid. If the valid choice is not entered by the user, the switch case will directly go to the default statement and here it will print invalid choice. Here we will close the switch case. After closing the switch case, immediately we will close a while loop here. Then after exit from the value fill is get cs function and then we'll stop the program by using this closing bracket. This end is the template of the main program. After that, immediately we'll start defining the functions that we have already declared above. That is void push function integer so x. Before pushing any element to the stack, we need to check one condition that is stack overflow condition and to check that condition we have s dot top equals to max minus 1. If this condition is true, we will directly print one message on the screen that the stack is full. You cannot insert the element. Else you can insert the element at the location s dot a of plus plus s dot top equals to x that's it for push operation <coughs> see in this case always whenever the element is entered into this stack the top pointer must be incremented by one before putting that element into the stack so top is the location uh, where we need to insert the element then we have another function that is pop function which is responsible for deleting the element from the stack before deleting any element from the stack we need to check one condition that is called stack underflow condition to check that condition we use as dot top equal to minus one if this condition is true we write 
here when they say this the stack is stack is empty else display the element that you are going to delete element deleted is percentage d and it will be stored at the location s dot a of s dot top after displaying that element immediately decrement the top pointer by one s dot top minus minus then we close the pop function then we need to define the display function we know it is going to display all the elements of the stack in the reverse order of their ins insertion but before displaying any element from the stack check whether there are any elements for display so again we are going to check the stack underflow condition with the help of s dot top equals to minus one this is true then print a message on the screen the stack is empty else take a for loop and display the elements one one by one from top to bottom so we'll take the help of another variable i equal to s dot top semicolon i less than equals to zero semicolon i minus minus it means we want to go from top to zero index and every time it will pick the element from the stack and display it on the screen a of i this for loop will display all the elements of the stack in the reverse order of their insert this is the end of the now we'll compile the program to check whether there are any errors. This is showing there are there, there are two errors. Let's see. I should include std li. Std li. Now again recompile it. So there are no errors. So this is our output screen. A menu card is displayed on the top so the company is asking us to enter the option so if i enter say option number one i want to insert 10 into the stack again say i want to again perform push operation now say i inserted 20 try to display using third option okay so this is displaying 20 first and then 10. again try to insert one option number one number 30 is inserted Option number one, 40 is inserted. Again, try to insert one more element and 50. So, 50 is also inserted. Again, try to push the element. Now, we inserted five elements into the stack, and our stack size was five only. I cannot insert the next element into the stack. Let's see. Again, try to put the option one and insert 60. So, it will show you that the stack is. Try to display the stack by using option number 3. It is displaying 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and the topmost limit is 50. Try to delete the element from the stack by using option number 2. Enter the choice as 2. So, when we enter the choice 2, 50 gets deleted. Again, if you try to delete, 40 gets deleted. Again, put option number 2, 30 get deleted. And now, in between, check display operation. There are only two elements 20 and 10 again try to perform two 20 gets deleted now there is only one element again try to perform option number two that is power operation 10 is also deleted again try to perform power operation on the empty stack now our stack is empty there are no elements after deleting 10 try to perform operation two stack is empty and at last we'll stop the program by using the option number four this way our program works properly. Thank you.